Dipume endlini half past three. Ba akula lake. This is a sad reality for Lungi Swayewana and many other residents in Motherwell Township. She came to the clinic to collect her chronic medication on the appointed date, braving the bone chilling cold in the hope of getting her medication. I'm the first person to get here at 3.45 a.m. because I had to walk here because there is no taxi. I left my house just after 3 a.m. I was so scared while walking here. And she is not the only one. Anele Jewu leaves his house at midnight to ensure he makes the cut. Life for us here is really so hard. When it is your day to come and get your medication, you just don't sleep at night. You toss and turn in bed knowing that you have to be up very early to ensure you make the cut. We work in dangerous areas in the name of getting proper health care. George Ditana, who is elderly and sickly, has also joined the queue. Having walked for over an hour to get medication, he is skeptic about getting any medical help. Risky because the Maparas are too many here and they rob us, took the phones, if you haven't got the money. Some they beat you if you haven't got nothing. See, that's a risk. Almost five hours later, Iwana is still waiting. I arrived here at 3.45 a.m. in the morning and I was the first person in the line. The time now is 8.10 a.m. and I still have not been helped. The last time I came to get my medication was in March because the hospital is always full. We really need help because we are really suffering in this clinic and it's just not fair. Earlier this year, the Department of Health promised that staff and medication shortages will be solved in this financial year, a problem affecting many clinics across the province. This has led to strikes by health workers over the failure to fill vacant posts. The health department says 700 million rand has been allocated to fill 2,940 vacancies. Mother will say she is one of the affected facilities, but the department has assigned a chief architect to Nelson Mandela Metro to assist with planning and alignment of infrastructure to the recently adopted health optimization plan with the procurement process of the certain advanced stage. The department has allocated 700 million to fill 2,941 vacancies in an approved annual recruitment plan for the current financial year, with more than 50% of those vacancies already filled from April to date. Residents have also complained that they are unable to get chronic medication at the mobile clinics that are set up by the Department of Health. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, 